Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I would like to briefly uh, provide you a guide on how to use uh, this tool, which is balsamic wireframe. The one that you see here is uh, the balsamic cloud. I have used the balsamic wireframe that you can install from the into your laptop it's just that mine is already expired uh, be aware that uh, it's only for 30 days after 30 days uh, you can still access your project it's just that you cannot edit it okay that's what happened to me i have installed it earlier so i can only see it but uh, i could not edit so another another option is that um you can also use the balsamic cloud. It, it, it has in, it have the same function, right? It's just that it's in the cloud. Okay, you can log in. Uh, in my case, I already have an account before. So I'm already in. Okay, so in here, I have a project before. Um, I'm only showing you the, the basic function of a balsamic uh, cloud. Uh, it's up to you later on to discover it. So for me, I have a project before and I give the name as wireframe. Okay, so it's having similar interface like the one that you use in the in the desktop version. Okay, uh, as for me, I have done mine before because I have to design a system for a, a, a project for our school. So I have done it like this. Okay, um, you can actually uh, make it this tool. You can either make it in a web form or mobile form. Okay, uh, a full version will have more option for this. Okay, uh, more option for buttons um, um, and so on. All right, so I have not discovered all. I have only used the simple one. Okay, so if you want to use combo box, change color, uh, what is this? Uh, I think this is circle button and so on. So you can do it like this. Okay, so um, so when you are doing this as uh, in a group, make sure that you standardize the template first. Maybe somebody has to design it. Uh, you guys need to discuss it, what you want it to be in the uh, web and then uh, standardize it okay where to put the menu where to put the uh, log log out form um how what do you, do you want to make it do you want to have uh, a side menu and so on okay you can actually you need to confirm on that as a group first okay once you have it um and everybody are clear about the interface so you can start doing it uh, individually okay so what you can do is um, you can maybe um, I think for web version you can actually share it you can invite your friends uh, so that um, maybe one person it's like a Google Doc okay you can actually invite your friends and they can work with you right um, you can allow public views uh, maybe this you can uh, share it with me you can also invite me all right so that I can also have a look at your work okay so when you are designing this screen make sure that you map back to your uh, list of requirement okay and also your your sequence diagram Okay, so your sequence diagram basically show the steps, right? All right, what what page to be open and so on, what data to be passed. So make sure that it map back to your sequence diagram and also map back to your list of requirement. Okay, so um, and when you distribute the job, uh, you can distribute it based on the person based on your PBL too, okay? If one person is doing one use case, that person will design for that screen so that the that person can be consistent. Okay? Um, and for this one, for example, um, 
um, you can discover it okay for example uh, I have this menu here so I want to show that this page is about list of projects for example so you can actually set this which which button to be set as um, okay Oops, sorry. okay so you can actually um, maybe because I'm recording this I could not um, change this you can actually set which um, tab is it uh, activated for this page okay um, and for example for this table here so you uh, I think when I first used this before because I'm recording this so some of the function is not working so okay so uh, this table is actually based on this um, format okay so if when you if you want to change the data and so on you can change it here all right so you can add button and so on uh, maybe for the purpose of showing it uh, to me you can put some message here so that uh, I can easily follow um, all right so I have several others so uh, this is a demo uh, a dummy data that you want uh, to be shown okay um, all right uh, let's say um, okay I'm, I'm setting up the review can actually play it okay you can play it so when you want to do demo you can use the play function all right uh, okay so you can um, walk me through the I think some of this um, button here when you design it you can set it to to uh, you can set the link meaning that maybe when you for this button when you press it you want it to go to some uh, another page you can also do that okay so this is basically the so when when you are doing demo you can walk through the the audience by moving the arrow and so on okay so uh, all right so this is some of the functions so you can explore for more uh, before this i used to use the the desktop version is just that mine is already expired maybe you can you can try it in your own pc or you can actually use the cloud version uh, hopefully this short uh, tutorial helps okay thanks